two, one, and we're live for another Father Son Podcast. How you doing there, Forrest? Good. Good, man. Uh, so you got your yoga. How did that feel? Good. Good. We're going to do a whole other podcast on you getting your yellow belt, but uh, I just want to congratulate you, and it was a huge journey, and you read the write-up I did about you, so, mm-hmm. you know, it was pretty emotional uh, for both of us getting through it, and I'm happy to say I've never been proud of you in my life, and I'm really happy the relationship we have on the mat now. Yeah. So, good. that had to be said before we get into the podcast about silly video games, but now we're going to move into silly video games. So, we both played Fall Guys. We uh, put it on a USB drive. We actually learned how to do that for yeah. the video. Um, you just hit share twice and it records, and then you're able to put it on a USB drive. You can transfer it out of your PlayStation 4 then. Super easy to share. Mm-hmm. So, we're going to link the video of us playing the game. Right, well, we're going to put it in the video. Right, we're, yeah, not link it. We're going to put it right into the video. Force knows what he's talking about, so you got us all set up there. So, what do you think about the new update for Fall Guys, since we never got to talk about Fall Guys in the first place? Um, pretty cool. Fall Guys was already a good game. I mean, there's a lot of cool mini games to play and all that. And it brings a nice competitive aspect, too. It's like a like a battle royale, but not really a serious one. Uh, I think the biggest... Can you flip down your uh, mic a little bit? Yeah, so now he's probably talking right into it. it. Should be better. I think the most important change really was the the visual um, upgrade. Like all the new maps got more colors and like changed the looks and stuff. It went from simple to like they made it a little more intricate and they uh, they made it 60 FPS. So now it feels really good to play the game. And it looks really good to play the game. It flows very well. Um, we played a couple of new game types. What did you think about uh, Pirate or the, what is that one called? The mini Night one? Fever. Night Fever. What did you think about Night Fever? I think it's a fun race. Um, I wish they would add more races, but you know you take what you can get. They are gonna add more games in the mid-season update, right? I believe so. Yes. So yeah, Night Fever, pretty good. Uh, the part with the giant logs is a little difficult. But, um, Were they spinning at you? The, the one that the Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the things that knock you off the platform? Yeah, because Did... sometimes you think you're safe and then you fall into the hole, mm-hmm. which is a little frustrating. So, I don't know if I really like the holes, but besides that, it's a, it's a really fun one. And it's kind of long, yeah. which is cool, because most of the races are pretty short. Yeah, so. it's, a, it's comparable to Seesaw in life, because Seesaw takes a long time, too. Uh, you did not play the game where you push the plat- platforms and jump up to get over the wall. That game is maddening. I've played it a few times. I've not done well in it. I did play the the new version of Hoopsie Daisy where you're a solo. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think that one's good. But it's also a little frustrating because there are going to be people that try and leech off you. And then, you know, you have to keep pushing it away so they can't leech off you and steal your hoop. Mm-hmm. And then it's a little difficult to, like, know when to go because you have to pull the platform back and then jump on it and get in the hoop before they can, you know, steal the hoop. Or you can play like me, do none of that, and just jump through the hoops that are on the ground. But then, uh, I think really what people should be doing is, the platforms are pretty easy to control, Mm -hmm. especially now that it's at 2 CFPS, which has made the game run a little smoother. Um, So you can just push it away, and then they can never get the hoop, because they can never leech off you. I finally won uh, episode, which means you win all the mini games at the end, because it starts out with 60, and then you go down to 40, and then variations of that, depending on how many people get eliminated by the games that you play. Yep. So I finally won a whole episode. I was the best out of 60. I played play like 100 games of it, and I won once. Although once I think time. that the, the finals you won on is a little broken right now. The jump game? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to get a lot faster. Well, I definitely lost on the jump game, and... Uh, yeah. I made it to the finals in my video, so when you post my video, when I post my video or you're watching these videos, um, it'll be the second one, or maybe I'll post them both while we're talking and put over our faces. Um, I made it to the finals on like Forest, and I did play the game again, and I did not win this time. I got knocked right into the bubbly slime. Yeah. It's kind of strange, because we've both been playing the game super long, and neither of us have won like have put a really nice cap on it. As far as winning in a, in a like a I won. I put a nice cap on. 
But like, we did, we haven't won Hexagon, we haven't won Fall Mountain. No. I sure won Fall Mountain twice. The first time I did not, so you got a whole R2 to grab things, and you race up this mountain, you gotta jump through the crown and win at the very end. You so have to I, jump I, and grab the crown. Yeah, I jumped right through the crown, I didn't know I had to grab it, and I fell all the way down. So the first time, I was the first one there, and I would've won it the first time I made it to that final, but I lost because I didn't know what I was supposed to do. So I suck. But I should've won that one, so I should have two wins. And then one other time I made it and I just timed the jump wrong. I think part of what makes the game hard too is the fatigue that you you have by the end. It's like you play all the games and then at the finals, you know, you're with the rest of the best players. You've already been playing and now you're really nervous because it's also the finals. And uh, your palms get sweaty. You watch me wa watch my uh, watch us uh, wipe our hands a couple times in the videos as we're playing. Yeah. But it's a fun game. Uh, and it's a game we can all play too. Mom plays with us sometimes. We all will sit in a bed and take turns playing and laughing at each other. That's and, it. Uh, I like to play with the friends from work. We put it on and we can all team up together. Yeah. It's a casual game and it's nice because anybody can pick it up and be somewhat successful. And it's short. You don't have to spend a lot of time playing it. So we can play for 15 minutes. Or, well, yeah, 15 minutes. I thought you meant like really quick. I mean, it's pretty quick. That's pretty quick for you. In 15 minutes, you're done. Probably less than that. You know? Like, sometimes in 15 minutes, we can all play around. Yeah, I mean, really. And sometimes it just depends on how long it takes to load, but, like, the gameplay itself is not that long. Mm -hmm. It's pretty simple. There's three buttons. There's jump, dive, and grab. So X makes you jump, square makes you dive, and R2 makes you grab. That's it. So I need to know how to feel the play. And you guys fall over a lot. And before I watch a video about it, yeah, fall over because their legs are tiny, so like it's hard for them to speed up and slow down and walk. So apparently they're six feet tall. So yeah. I'm that I was skill one to ten. What would you give the game overall? Overall, probably eight. Give it eight? Yeah, I'm, I'm somewhere around there. Probably eight, maybe nine, because I like it so much. Um, I mean, there's a lot of technical flaws with the game, but I have a really fun time playing it. And now that we can stream it, we can probably make a couple streams if there's any interest on in YouTube of it. The, the, the update that they gave the PS4 part, um, their PS4 version of the game, actually made it a lot better. It runs a lot smoother now, and like, the mini games are easier because the, the, the game runs smoother. Ver they're, very much smoother too. Like, like 60 frames a second. It's like double the frames per second from uh, what it was to what it is now. I also don't think it's just the 60 FPS because I think the game just runs smoother because it, you still get frame drops and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I think overall the game just runs smoother. They, they fixed some of the like really bad. Stuff. Yeah. So now nobody can like grab your tail, like a tail tag and all those games. And you can grab your tail from about a million light years away. Yeah, they definitely fixed that grab mechanic a little bit. It's, not, it's definitely a lot better. I hope that they add like a lot more games in the mid-season update, because mm -hmm. right now there's like four or five. And you just play the normal games more often than anything else. So mm -hmm. I hope maybe it's a matter of resources. They don't have the, the resources and they don't have the team, don't have the money to put it together. Mm -hmm. But I think it'd be really nice if in if in the mid season update or season three they bring a lot more games. Mm. All right, so that's a pretty good review of the game. And uh, before we get out of here, I'm gonna talk about the office that we've uh, made here, the podcast studio office, whatever you want to call it. Um, so over the weekend, we last weekend we hung up all the stuff that I have in here, not all of it, but a, a good portion of it. So we have, uh, I'm gonna take the camera on and, and scroll around so everyone's gonna see what we did as we're doing it. Uh, we put up the Batman sign, for us to help you hang that one. Uh, we hung up the Bruce Lee poster. Uh, we hung up the amazing artwork by Bernie. Um, Bernie made all of the pictures of me that are right behind me right now. And uh, when you see it in the video, you can see how, how great it looks. Uh, then over here is my giant poster of me. I didn't hang up because of a frame falling apart because I kicked it a few times while it's been sitting over here. And then we have the Jiu-Jitsu Wolf that I received as a Christmas present for coaching. Uh, I was kind of like the saying on it, regardless of the situation, no matter how hopeless the outcome may be, I will not quit. And I will keep 
and I will never back down. Become a wolf. So it says, regardless of the situation, no matter how hopeless the outcome may be, I will never quit. I will never back down. Become a wolf. Um, there's a whole bunch of those, but I always like positive sayings like that, and I like it over here by me, because I feel like I'll never quit. It's one of the, like, it's very similar to what we say at the end of lesson class. And then, last but not least, I hung up the poster, or not the poster, but the picture that Keith had made for me, uh, Professor Keith over at Buma. Um, Probably one of my closest training partners and friends throughout my martial arts journey. Um, I just like to, to have that picture. And I always say it's the good against the evil. And uh, Crew Keith is dressed up like good and I'm dressed up like evil. And uh, we're battling it out. Uh, I, don't, I just like that picture. It's cool. Uh, it was good friendly competition that we had between the two of us. He did end up winning that match. But it's not by armbar like in the picture. It was uh, by points. And that's the room. Thank you for helping me hang all that stuff up. No we probably should have got a level. Of course, his eyes were not the best when we did this. You were also very hasty in front of him. When I said, uh, okay, maybe you can put him on. Yeah. I, didn't have, I just wanted to get him on the wall. Because once you put the sticky stuff on, once, as soon as you touch them to the wall, they're in there. I really don't think it was stuck on, but it seemed like that. Sure. You just stick them, they're stuck. I don't think so. It says you have to hold them for 30 seconds, so... Dude, as soon as you let go, they're like stuck on the wall. Yeah. You, you let go in one second, it's stuck, right? Not moving? Uh, I don't know, because I didn't try it then. Because you already, like, really pushed them down before I tried them. Yeah, once they're on the wall, they're stuck. But we can always pull them off and try again. I mean, it's not stuck. And they're all framed stuff, so we can definitely take it off. But, uh, that's alright. I'm a little crooked too, so... <laughs> I don't mind that things are a little bit crooked. You know? Yeah. Anything else? I don't know, it's kind of normal. Yeah, 12 minutes. Oh, 12 minutes already? Yeah, normal length. It was a good father-son chat. Mm -hmm. um, I want to do one about your elbow. Because that deserves a whole podcast on itself. I don't want to uh, put anything else in there. Plus, this one is supposed to be about both. Yeah, that's about us. Every podcast is about us. It's not about the topic. It's really about how we relate to each other. I already made it. Uh, well, he's already made the thumbnail. I guess we have to use it. Uh, that's cool. Don't forget to send me the thumbnail. Remember, Force is always doing our YouTube page. And like always, what should we do? Like and subscribe. It really, uh, it really helps us out. And uh, it'd be nice if we could get to a thousand subscribers because then we can start monetizing our stuff, putting some money back into here, and uh, the content will improve. We definitely gonna put money back into here. We haven't made. We haven't made any, but we put a lot of money in. Yeah. All right. So it'd be nice if you would like and subscribe, so our content can get better. And uh, yeah, you never know. Maybe this will blow up. Mm -hmm. Maybe it'll blow up someday. I believe in that, like, because you're gonna be my YouTube guy. Our camera is about to die, so we really do need to get out of here. All right. Anything else? No. All right. Awesome job. Thank you for help helping on the private today. I appreciate that. No problem. All right, and we are. Out. Make sure to like Caveman's Corner on Facebook and definitely click subscribe right now. You'll keep up to date with MMA news, you can hear our podcast, and see our funny videos. Click subscribe and the bell. Do it now!